In this video, I'm going to be showing you the powerful new foundational multimodal model for speech translation by Meta. So Seamless M4T is a new model that they just released that allows you to input both speech and text and get a variety of different outputs back. So you can get speech to speech translation, speech to text translation, etc. So I'm just going to quickly demonstrate this right off the bat for you and I'll say this is a demonstration for my YouTube channel. Now this is a playground you can access for free on Meta's website here from the blog post. And if I just simply click the languages that I'd like to have it translate to, you can click up to three. And within just a few seconds here, you'll see all of the different outputs that the model is capable of. So the first thing you'll see here is it has the automatic speech recognition. It tells you the actual phrase that you said. It detects the language for you. It gives you the text version of the languages that you're looking to translate it to. And then what is very neat is it also gives you the speech translation for these said languages that you selected. So if I just demonstrate these here. C'est une démonstration pour ma chaîne YouTube. C'est une démonstration pour mon YouTube channel. C'est mon YouTube channel de Yanshi. So as you might imagine, there's a host of different applications in where this could be helpful from traveling apps to just daily life. So you can imagine if there's a language barrier somewhere and you incorporate this into an app idea that you had, you know, the possibilities are pretty endless with something like this. Now, the other nice thing with this model is you are able to access it on GitHub. There is a paper that's about 100 pages long, but what I'd encourage you to check out is also their hugging spaces, which is very similar to the interface that I just showed you, but it also gives you the ability to duplicate the space with just a few clicks here on Hugging Face if you're looking to run this and have your own private version of it. So it's a little bit more expensive to run this model, so I'd encourage you, if you're looking to do this, um, to you know likely, hopefully, have had fleshed out an idea before you uh, duplicate the space and uh, start getting billed for something like this, but it's definitely a very interesting model to start exploring. Now, similar to the uh, web interface that I showed you here, I did notice that when you do try uh, the interface on Hugging Face, depending on the traffic and the queue, it can take a little bit of time. So I found during business hours, it was a little bit slower. So I'd encourage you, if it is awfully slow, just hop over to this interface to play around with it if you're testing for reliability or just sort of the general capability of the thing. So I wanted to keep this one short and that's pretty much it for this one. So if you found this video useful, please like, comment, share, and subscribe and otherwise until the next one.